He lives in a trailer surrounded by farm animals and only owns four pairs of shoes. This does not sound like a description of someone who's nearly a billionaire. But the man you're about to meet is not your average CEO. Tonight, ABC's Rebecca Jarvis gets a look inside his world. It's 8 a.m. in Las Vegas, and while most of the strips still sound asleep, downtown, a whole different kind of morning. Uh, <laughs> I've probably lived 10 places in my entire life, and uh, this is definitely my favorite so far. We're meeting Tony Shea. Worth nearly a billion dollars, he's the 41-year-old CEO of online shoe company Zappos, who owns just four pairs of shoes. Welcome to my home. At his favorite place to live, this 240 square foot trailer. Refrigerator, there's a shower, bathroom. Inviting our cameras in exclusively to show us around. This converts well. into a bed, that yeah. converts into a bed, and this is your workspace. Yep, the rent here is 950 a month. 950 yeah. a month. Yeah. So you got a pretty good deal. Yeah. You are definitely different than your typical billionaire CEO. I care a lot more about experiences than stuff. Introducing us to his neighbors, like his pet alpaca, Marley, and four chickens. So this alpaca just runs free around here. Yeah. What and do you he feed likes him? Carrots. He likes carrots. So. An unconventional home for what might just be the world's most unconventional CEO. Investing $350 million rebuilding downtown Las Vegas. $50 million was to invest in small businesses to help create a sense of neighborhood and community and make downtown Vegas more walkable. And just a few blocks away, Zappos headquarters, where Tony has thrown out the traditional corporate rule book. Come there. on, Tony. <laughs> Gone are the titles, dress code, and corporate hierarchy. Ooh, I love him. Instead, meetings in this Star Wars themed conference room. Who does the decorating around here? Uh, we really leave it up to employees. It's all part of a big push by Tony towards something called a holacracy. Who's the boss? We're the boss. You're the boss. We're the boss. Essentially removing upper management and letting employees run the show. Do you ever fight with each other? No. We <laughs> love each other. The employees even determine their own salaries. We have a budget that uh, we are allowed, and there's eight of us that we determine how our pay would be. So. Could this be the model of the future? You want to come to work. You want to be here even on your day off. Some say, if the shoe fits. <laughs> For Nightline, I'm Rebecca Jarvis in New York. It was the Irish poet George Moore who said, a man travels the world over in search of what he needs and returns home to find it. Hello, everyone. My name is Mariana. This is Mahendra, Adriano, and Simone. Our final project for the online class is about the Zappos company. We're going to talk a little bit more about behind the holacracy hype. It's a way of self-management. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about Zappos. Uh, Zappos is an online retailer company and it was founded in 1999. Uh, we are going to talk about the main character, which is Tony Che. He's the CEO of the company and he was responsible for a lot of changes. Um, I'll see you can that's it. Thank you. So Tony Che, he uh, joined the Zappos team in the 2000, and since he was a child, he showed ability to create and manage business, and with Zappos was not different. Uh, his entrepreneurship skills uh, were undeniable, mm -hmm. uh, but his journey at Zappos was not always successful. Uh, he had to face a lot of challenges and make risky decisions. Um, he ended up investing all his personal money in the company, um, but he was able to reach his goal, which was um, to make Zappos profitable again. And he was able to reach uh, one billion of dollars of sales uh, per year. And in 2009, uh, Zappos was acquired by Amazon. Uh, in a deal that was valued at 1.2 billion of dollars, and this case took place in Las Vegas in 2015. Uh, and the method that we chose to analyze our case will be decision based, and the criteria will be customer service experience, practice with employees, and the last one will be uh, the self-management system, which is called Holacracy, 
then put Zappos on the spotlight. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the customer service experience. Uh, this was a super important aspect in Zappos. They would like to make the shopping experience on internet something unique when you do it in the Zappos.com. So one important point of uh, this support to the customers was uh, the call centers completely without script or limit time. Even there was a call that during about uh, 18 hours, for sure these customers had more problems than shoes. And yeah, the employee of Zappos was completely available to help the customer. Another thing is the practice with the employees. The working environment completely different of the other companies. It's a, a place that the employee would like to be. So Zappos has gym, uh, a room to take a nap, and wireless centers. It's a completely non-traditional uh, place to work. Also, uh, they stimulate the outside relationship. This uh, builds uh, trust and creates a good relationship between the employees because once that you are not just a co-work, you're gonna trust much more in your co-work and you're gonna do a better job. Uh, hire the right people uh, after 200,000 hours of trainees. This was interesting because the new employees used to be in a five weeks training and during this period, Zappos even offered uh, money to give up of the trainee because Zappos used to think that if they used to compare work as a marriage, if you accept money to leave your work, it's because you don't really love your work. So that was not the right people for them. And after this, they used to take the employees, the new employees that rest after this, they used to take 200 hours of trainees. Uh, the company grew, grew up a lot. In 2012, they had 1,500 employees. Decisions. How to analyze a decision made by a visionary and happiness driving CEO like Tony Schiff? Just to remind you, Zappos is located in the middle of the desert in Las Vegas. Tony Shi had uh, controversial decisions uh, that could put him in the success or in a completely fair spot. To give you a better picture of these decisions, Tony decided to invest in, from his own money $350 million in a downtown project. It's a project to revitalize downtown of Las Vegas, so it would improve the employee's life, quality of life. Uh, he invested his money in creating new business, supporting new startups, and giving up space for arts and education, and giving space for art and education. All these decisions has positive and negative results. Delivering happiness all the time is not so easy. So far, the results was uh, positive, based on the perspective that all the tourism improved a lot. Um, be happy all the time it requires much more than constant social activities and just a positive environment. Tony had the ability to visualize all these dreams and materialize these dreams. And when Zappos moved to Las Vegas, half of the employees decided to follow his dream with him. To this decision of moving to Las Vegas, it was based on keeping the vibe of a previous annual meeting called Our Hands Meeting. This is like a mesh between work and party at the same time. For him, you wake up every day and put your snooze like 10 times is not healthy. So he wants that the employee wants to go to work. Uh, Gray in the Desert had good results. They had 840 million in gross sales by 2007. Um, in one year after this, they hit $1 billion in the annual sales. 
and they show they appeared in the Fortune 100 best companies to work for. In 2009, the company was sold to Amazon.com, and it was for a amount reported of 1.2 billion dollars. But with all this growth, Tony starts seeing some obstacles. He starts seeing that the employees was not so stimulated in innovating all the time. This is normal, was that the company grew a lot in a short time and a lot of new employees was coming. So he needed like more than just a good environment and stimulation for the employees. The problem that Mari was talking about the um, less uh, productivity and innovation that the employees were providing starts to make Tony uncomfortable. He decided to get, um, try a new stuff for, for the company and start a, a process where the company will be less hierarchical and try to understand how they could be more productive and innovative uh, reducing the, the hierarchies. So, what happens was during a, a event where a, a, a presenter was showing a new type of, of management for self-management system called Holacracy, Tony met Brian Robertson. This guy uh, is not exactly a, a guru for a management, but he's experienced. He has a company of uh, his own and tried to implement this model. Uh, Tony argued with Robertson about how could it be possible for, for a company like Sappos, big, uh, a big company, a corporation with more than 1,500 uh, employees. Maybe it will be hard to, to implement, but they argue to be like a city. When Tony said that a city grows, uh, he saw a, a, a research that says that when a company grows, it starts to be less innovative and less productive. A city is the opposite. When a city grows up, grow up, uh, it starts to produce more knowledge and more innovation and more productivity for many of people. So that's why I try, uh, Tony tried to, to implement its apples, a company like a city. So this, give, this takes us to holacracy, uh, a model is based not on pyramids as we are familiarized to, to model of here hierarchical systems. This is a more flexible model for management because we don't have the pyramid uh, that we are familiarized as the, the least, tell the most what they have to do. So this is combined for many people, uh, could be inside and not necessary to have someone uh, saying what has to be done, but definitely, definitely will be someone saying that what the, 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 the circle must done. So these people uh, could be from anywhere of the company, there's no areas, just big um, a purpose for, for, for them. So a, uh, as an example, a super circle could be like many others in stuff in, inside, and this stuff is divided, but to attend this big uh, purpose to, to create, uh, to, or to solve a big problem of the company. So, for, for us it's important to say that not everybody was capable to adapt uh, itself to this system that they create, they apply, implement. So, it's important to say that in a certain moment, Tony felt, Tony was, felt in that, was feeling that there's not uh, what they, they were one step in holacracy and one step in in the, the old system. Uh, this one step in every mo in, in each moment uh, gives Tony uh, uh, makes Tony to to try a deadline a, a, a more uh, incisive decision. He decided to send an email saying that many uh, of those who are not who are not feeling uh, adapted to holacracy could accept a three-month severance package uh, to leave the company. So it's important to say that 18% decided to, to get this package. The company makes uh, made a, a move to like you know a little balance as something they are not expecting that like 
huge amount of people leaving. After some time, maybe a, a, a more people uh, decided to leave in about 30%. So they felt that something needs to be done, but many people are considering they are uh, feeling uh, adapt. So it's important to say that Zappos is facing a, a moment of uncertainty. Some people uh, just don't don't re recognize Rohalocracy as a, a, a successful model. But uh, for the, the whole uh, initi initiative, it's important to say that trying this is something that many, many companies try in the past, but not in the whole system, the whole company. So I'm going to take the risky innovation. It's a very interesting one thing. Um, just uh, this point is sometimes a kind of analysis, it's realistic, but the most of the times is based on the past situations. And then letting last room by the hello crazy, yes, we are considering that our recommendation for the Zobas is to keep Mohel and based on the pure pursuit of new management approaches with the hilarity hike. Um, lost a lot of employees in short time. Yeah, the every company is faced some problem, the so growth in situation, it's like a fail. So the risk innovations is going to the big cost. During his whole life, it was often to testify some contributional discussions. The past him between the age of the huge success and a complete fail. So the Tony has brought us of us to the spotlight, become everything that innovative and uh, unique entrepreneur to that. Uh, this is to increase the sound effect percentage in the year on our year. So does everyone will try to replicate, but most of things to unique the entrepreneur with the sofas. There is an option they could create a new company to test a balance system. So for us, it's important to say that we conclude that the company need to solve two big issues to keep moving forward with Holacracy. One of them is who's working better to understand how to compensate the, the people according to how much they are working on every task they are uh, willing to. So the other will be how to fit an employee in the company. How to imagine in a situation like that, that anyone could be anything or could do the test that they are trying to, they're willing to. How to understand which one will be the best to work for the company. How they hire people from this moment. It's something that is difficult to understand because in the market the, the, the similar uh, situations are more based on the, the graduation or the past experience in this situation, anyone could be uh, uh, an employee in the Zappos and do whatever, just uh, presenting their, their experience for it. The culture is a big asset of Zappos. They need to keep this uh, happening inside the company. Uh, some employees will always be uh, unsatisfied, this part of, of the game, but we understand that they are trying to. Uh, give more space for people to contribute, contribute, and show what they really can be uh, while Zappos employees. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching our uh, presentation. If you have any doubt, please email to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good. 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 Good.